What I'm about to show you is very important. It doesn't matter what time of the year it is. I'm scouting a new piece of property right now. And uh, this tree called striped maple. I don't know what it is about trees that deer like to rub on, but striped maple is one of them. And I got on this trail here. This is striped maple. See the stripes in the bark? See the stripes in the bark? This right here, you got a blow down and just enough of these stripes maple or striped maples on top of this ridge. And I'm gonna show you something. I was just walking through here and I said to myself, I bet you this goes to the inside corner. I bet you this goes to the inside corner of that cornfield. And I kept following it, following the rubs. It's not, I'm not following a trail. I don't need to have a trail. Sometimes, right there, right there, all in through here, rubs. Sometimes you're not following a trail. Don't always look for trails. I really don't typically hunt bucks and shoot big bucks over heavy beaten down paths like you would on a doe, like you would shoot a doe. Right here, here's more. Look at that, right here, okay. Now it opens up a little bit. It opens up a little bit and this is a spot where I consider putting a tree stand. Right up in here I can slip in easy. I can get shots in through here. This is the leaves right here of a striped maple. Kind of resembles a red maple. Looks like a goose's foot. And there's rubs all through here. And I parked right at the corner. You can see my truck. There's my truck. I can't walk through that while I could, but let's not say we did. There we go. Inside corner is right there. I'm telling you guys, doesn't matter what time of the year, inside corners. And even if it's early season, those rub lines are really good sign to keep an eye out for.